We've got one more game that we are going to hit before we get out of here, and that is Stanford at USC, and this line has ballooned, my friend. It was 10 in the offseason. It is now USC minus 17. So before last week, you could have gotten this game at 10, and now it is at 17. The line has shifted a touchdown in USC's favor, and while I do like USC here, because I, what I saw out of Stanford last week was awful. I also don't know exactly what Stanford we're going to get because last week Stanford played at 9 a.m. body clock game. You know, Now they've got Tanner McKee starting at quarterback. I think he's going to be pretty good, but it is early in his career. I, I don't know that USC, I don't trust Clay Helton to cover 17 points, especially in this game. So I, I think Stanford is 8-2 and two against the spread in their last 10 against USC. I'm, I'm going to take Stanford here. I, I don't feel great about it. But I don't know who to trust in this spot. So I'm going to give you a little secret, okay? All right. This is one of my gambling picks at my SBR show. It's when we give out five guaranteed gambling picks that we love on SBR. And, and this is one of my five best games of the week that I love. I told everybody at SBR, I'm going to teach these folks now. Y'all know we're from Mystic on teaching Mystic word. Gary knows this word. Stanford got molly by Kansas State. And I don't think Kansas State's a very good football team, okay? You can tell me all the body clock bullshit you want. I'm not buying it. (laughs) David Shaw, you, my partner, one of my best friends in the whole world, has tried to convince me that David Shaw is a top-tier coach in college football. Gary, I don't think David Shaw is a top-ten coach in the Pac-12. I think they're going to get their ass whipped. That was, I don't care which one of those quarterbacks play for Stanford. <laughs> I don't care what's happened in history. I don't care that the last eight games were close and all that. It don't matter. This USC team is good, and and I've told you over and over. The hate on Clay Helton has gone too far. I will not stand for it anymore. Now you do realize San Jose State had them in a thirteen to seven game in the fourth quarter. Do not quarter. care. Okay. Do not okay. care. Totally fair. Hang on, Stanford. San Jose State, Gary, right now would be a two touchdown favorite against the Stanford football team. No. They're a better football team than them. Now, that's that's an exaggeration, okay? That's hyperbole. (laughs) That's a strength. But I'll tell you this I I don't care what the number is. I would take San Jose State against against Stanford right now, tomorrow. I can can get with that. Money line. Money line. They're going to beat them. I can get with that. The the David Shaw statement was from like three years ago. Like, absolutely. And it was wrong then. He was at the time. He was really good. He, he was, was doing well. He was, he was not good. He and was they, not good. They have had trouble covering the spread uh, quite a bit here in the past you know, couple of seasons. So, yeah, he's, that, that program is definitely headed in the wrong direction. I, I have to I see it. Here's, here's the problem. It's not a quarterback problem. They used to be good in the trenches, Gary. That's what made Stanford better than everybody else. Their offensive line play was outstanding. Yes. They got good run production because of it, and their defensive line play was outstanding because they knew they didn't have DBs with the athleticism to hang with the wide receivers in the Pac-12, okay? They couldn't hang with UCLA and, and Washington and Washington State and Oregon and USC. They just couldn't hang with those wide receivers, so they had to get pressure. Now, they're not good in the trenches, yeah, and they also still don't have the athletes to hang with the other school's athletes. I think they're going to struggle to be not – DFL in the Pac-12. I think they're bad. Hey, they they really might be. I got to see it from USC. I got to see it. And, and you know, I can I can be wrong on this. I had a good week last week. So, I uh, I went 5 and 2 against the spread last week in our in our picks. So, I might be wrong on this one, but I do got to see it. I do got to see it. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at @garywce at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.